I am back. I've just got to preface this. I have been on a big Spider-Man sized rabbit hole. That's why I've not been doing as many videos because that has eaten away at my life. So I haven't watched Bound for Glory yet. Bound for Glory I will be watching tomorrow morning. But I want to talk about this cool TNA stuff. Let's go. Hello and welcome to FTTR, I am Hugh McQuaid and today we are talking about the big announcement that took place at the end of Bound for Glory and that is that TNA is back. Total non-stop action wrestling will be taking the place of Impact Wrestling as of January but before we dive into that please hit subscribe, please like this video, please comment your thoughts down below on TNA. Are you happy for it to be back? And I will try and reply to every single one of those comments. Let's talk about this. TNA, TNA has a special place in my heart because it was it got me there it got me into wrestling as a wee boy when i was watching it on bravo and challenge with kurt angle abyss and the main event mafia were my crew that was what i was always following when i was watching tna then sort of dipped out of wrestling and then impact sadly went through the transition it went through Jeff Jarrett stuff, the Hogan Bischoff stuff, uh, what was it called? Global, Global Force, what was it called? Global something, wrestling, then back to Impact, and Impact on a little bit of a resurgence, it's on, kicking out some pretty cool matches, some cool stories, some cool angles, getting the likes of Will Ospreay and Speedball Mike Bailey in there, there's a lot of cool stuff surrounding Impact, but it was announced officially that Impact Wrestling will be no more as of January. It is instead taking the form. The promotion is changing back to TNA, Total Nonstop Action Wrestling. I love this. I do love this. My thoughts on this are channeled from inner nostalgia. Now, sometimes nostalgia, you can play on nostalgia too much, but I don't think this is going to hurt sort of impact in the long run because you see people talking about impact. You, you don't hear impact chants. You usually hear TNA chants. You usually hear... TNA, TNA, Robert Roode and AJ Styles got one in the Royal Rumble that year. So I think this is only a good thing. I don't think it's done purely for nostalgia. I think it's just a brand change, essentially. You know, Impact has been great. It has been really good, but they struggled to sort of gain that momentum. They've been picking up steam and picking up steam and picking up steam. And every time it seems like Impact's getting somewhere, they sort of hit that ceiling. Maybe this is what can push TNA back to sort of the the big leagues I, like, I feel like impact is obviously it's the third biggest promotion in america and tna sort of rebranding it as that playing on that nostalgia bringing people back can only sort of be a good thing now if they play on nostalgia in a bad way and they bring back the likes of hogan and bischoff and we get an awful run that'll hurt it as well but it's all about the product it's all about the content that tna will be putting out and i think it will be stellar first of all the image that they've released is very hard to get my head around so new tna logo but i'm so used to seeing that associated with sting christian cage kurt angle samoa joe that it's sort of weird to see it with the likes of josh alexander mickey james alex shelley diana perrazzo in that image so that'll just have to you know i'll have to get my head around that eventually but I think it's solid. I think it's really, really cool. And there isn't really a downside to this. Hopefully, Impact gets a big send off at Hard to Kill. So, the official sort of transformation is January the 13th at the Hard to Kill pay per view. That is when it will, the company will officially be changed back to TNA. So, you're going to get Impact sort of throughout 2024, 2023, sorry. And then in 2024, the big rebound. Now, the big question, the big question that is up in the air at the moment, it hasn't fully been out, it's been alluded to, saying stuff like the entrance ramble change, the ring ropes, the turnbuckles and stuff like that was in the press release, I won't go through all the press release, the big question, you know what it is, six-sided ring, will we see the return of the six-sided ring? Now, I think visually the six-sided ring is really cool. I really like the six-sided ring. I think it looks unique and different. And that is my... When I think of TNA, I think six-sided ring. That is just... 
it automatically goes to that. I don't think of the, the squared ring at all. I think of the six-sided ring. However, it wasn't necessarily practical. I've heard Sting talk about that, I think, on the table for three that he did with Jeff Jarrett, where they talked about the six-sided ring and how it wasn't practical for wrestlers. So I can understand if it's best for wrestlers, don't do the six-sided ring. But I would love to see the six-sided ring come back. I think it would be so unique and really sort of just harken back to those glory days of TNA. I'd love to see the six-sided ring back. I think that would really spur on a bit more intrigue, a bit more interest in people looking at this saying, oh, this is a completely different product to what AEW and what SmackDown and Raw and WWE are putting out. I'm really rooting for Impact. I'm really rooting for Impact and TNA because, you know, sort of mainstream wrestling at the moment, the WWE, the AEW, struggling to grip me as much as I was sort of a year, not even a year ago, sort of around All In was like peak wrestling fandom. That was when I was full on head over heels in love with that. But I've had to, I've dived a little bit back from the mainstream stuff, sort of working away, watching some indies, watching some New Japan, some Noah, watching sort of that stuff because the mainstream wrestling isn't necessarily grabbing me. I'm hoping that this big rebrand will push TNA back to being a big competitor in North American and global wrestling. We've seen how well the UK Invasion Tour is doing for Impact. They are doing really, really well with selling tickets for that. Of course, the UK is a big hub for Impact. We're a big big fans of TNA because it was free. WWE was not free in the UK. So, yeah, I think I'm only rooting for the success here. I'm rooting for massive, massive success for TNA. And I'm over the moon. I'm over the moon. The only other thing I can hope for is maybe the return of some pay-per-views. Maybe a lethal lockdown in there. Maybe we'll see a King of the Mountain match. Who knows? But yeah, I'm super, super excited for this. And I want to know what you guys think down in the comments below. Are you happy that TNA is back? Let me know everything you want down in the comments below and I'll try and apply to every single one of you. Thank you all ever so much for your support and have a nice day. Mm -hmm.